YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Ty's Tanks. We've had a lot of new subscribers come through here and join the community recently, so I figured this would be the perfect time for me to reintroduce myself. My name is Ty, and this is the 75 gallon tank that started it all. So about two years ago, we decided to start up our 75 gallon tank. We started off with African cichlids and decided to move on to a couple of South American breeder Jack Dempseys. So the main goal for the Jack Dempseys was to obviously to get them to breed. Uh, I was really looking forward to catching some content of them going through the breeding process fertilizing the eggs, and then even the eggs hatching. The problem I think I'm running into is my African uh, Synodonis catfish. Why I think the Synodonis is the issue, why the breeding is stopping, is that every time I see the male go through his dance, the female kind of goes in to start the process, and then the catfish kind of swoops in and breaks it up. I think he's kind of almost getting a sense that the things are going on in the tank, and he kind of just swoops in. The ultimate blocker if you know what I'm talking about. But the African Synodonis catfish is one of my favorite catfish that you can have for a freshwater tank. They go great with African cichlids, so it's highly, highly recommended. Uh, they're also known as the upside down catfish, so he'll actually go upside down and skim the top of the water. He's been in my tank the absolute longest. I got him when he was such a, just a little tiny baby catfish. My absolute favorite fish in the tank has got to be my dinosaur beast here. We got him at PetSmart like probably six, seven months ago. He was like two inches long. He's like four, I would say four, four and a half inches long now. So that's a pretty decent growth in six months. But he is my absolute favorite. I just love the snake-like body. I love just the way he eats. You know, it just looks aggressive. Just a unique body style, unique characteristics. He does different, he doesn't just kind of swim around. He kind of floats on the bottom, kind of perches on the rocks. I just think that's just like a kind of a unique, the uniqueness of the fish is what I kind of look for. But that goes with the Synodonis catfish that I have. Body structure, the long kind of feathery dorsal fin that comes off the top. Like that, that uniqueness is what I kind of like to look for in my tanks. Probably the most famous fish in the tank is Pui, the bristlenose pleco. He posted a short a little while ago, threw uh, Pui in there and I mean, it exploded. Um, it just kind of went off. The bristles that come off of the front of his face, absolutely stunning. Another very unique fish that I just love to have in my tank. And not to mention, they're probably one of the best algae eaters that you can get and uh, also produce, I mean, I don't really recognize him producing a ton of waste. I never see algae on my tank. So just an absolute boss algae eater. So if you're looking for one, bristlenose plecos are the way to go. Last but certainly not least, the final guy we have in our tank was kind of just a little bit of a throw in. He is a very small fish still, but he's doing okay. We got a rainbow shark. Uh, this is my first time ever keeping a rainbow shark. Again, a different type of look. I love the dark body with the red fins. I think that's just like an awesome look. I think as they age, they do tend to lose that red, but if we can get a good year of, with, with that red in them, I th I'd be pretty happy with that. Another kind of like a lower bottom feeder, at least to start, he likes to hide away. I mean, obviously he's a small fish, but he definitely likes to get his hides and he just kind of perches out at night. Maintaining the fish tank, we're doing about a water change every week. Truthfully, I've always just done one uh, water change a week and have been totally fine. But I'm using a Marineland Emperor Pro 50 filter. Uh, it's another, this is the Fluval heater, I think rated for 90 gallons, I believe. I love the Fluvals, they last forever. They're reliable, um, love the Fluvals. I got a sponge filter over here in the corner off of my air pump. That's more or less just to keep enough beneficial bacteria in case one of my guys gets sick. Got a little hospital tank kind of hidden away that I can fill up with the aquarium water, throw that sponge filter in there, and I know I'm gonna have enough beneficial bacteria so my, so my sick fish can get healthy again. So I really can't believe I'm gonna say this, but we are less than 50 subscribers away from hitting a thousand subscribers. And I just think that's absolutely wild. I appreciate all you guys who have been subscribing and have stayed subscribed throughout this, I guess, last two, almost three years, I guess, that I've been doing this. Um, I'm kind of excited to see where this can go. And I'm ready to put like everything I have into it. So yeah, I'm just gonna give it everything I have and I'm gonna go as hard as I can because why not? We're at this point, we got almost a thousand subscribers. Let's just see where this goes. Uh, so I got a lot of ideas and a lot of plans and I'm sure I'll share it with you guys. Uh, but listen, if you guys are new here, hit the subscribe button, please, and hit the like button. I'm telling you guys, the best way you can support me right now is hitting that like button. It helps YouTube recognize that maybe people should watch this video. And just doing that for me would mean the absolute world. Um, until next time, uh, damn it. Until next time, guys, see ya.